Hey, I am um, just kind of practicing or getting prepared a few canvases for a paint night that I'm doing tomorrow. And I thought, well, I don't even know why I didn't put a video on before this, but I thought, well, I could post a video or um, make a video. It's pretty snowy outside, as you can see. But I thought I'd go on anyways. So I'm, all I'm doing is kind of just painting these dandelions, and I thought I would do a couple of um, hi. Etsy. Uh, thank you. How do I say your, your name? Etsy Liz Designs. So what I'm doing is painting some of these for tomorrow. I have paint night and I, I was been so busy. I haven't had a chance to, to do it. And they wanted to do dandelions. Um, so I thought I'd do a diff couple different options. Um, earlier today, I worked on this one. It's not, I mean, I just threw it together because it's not great, but I'm just so then they can have kind of options on what to paint. So I did this one for a nice kind of um, summery sky kind of look. And that's the first one. I just wanted to give a couple different background options. And oh, I got a lot of. Um, Stuff on there. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing another background. So I was working on a sky background, my regular, oops, regular sky background. Now to get to have, so then they can choose if they want blue sky or if they want a kind of uh, yellowy summer sky type thing. So that's it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just come on for a little bit. Hope you guys can hear me. You do paintings and you also add puzzle pieces, bottle pops. Oh yeah, CDs on it. Yeah, that's cool. Mixed media paintings are awesome. I love to do a variation like I just love to be unpredictable with paintings too and it's so fun so what I was working on where did I put my was um the dandelion here so I don't know how fun this will be but oh you're Liz okay I'll just call you Liz sorry I just read that now but um I thought it'd come on even if it wasn't for too long. I don't know how long this could be a very boring thing to watch, but I bought these um, little containers with uh, sections so then I could put my paint in there. And if I put a cloth, I'm trying to see how long it'll keep wet for. I'm new to trying this out, but I bought some. Um, so then when um, they do their paints in the paint night, they can, um, I'm not wasting all the paint, the kids can use it or whatever after. So this is in a wet paper towel like this, put it on there. Um, they can use this part as a palette here. Move this down for you guys to see. And mix their colors and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, so they wanted dandelions. Well, they gave me a couple pictures. They said like a sunflower type of thing. And they did dandelions. I've never done dandelions before, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Looks like fun. So I thought I'd do that. So with this um, sky, I used um, several different blues here. You see like a true blue. Um, and a teal or a, let's see, 
I used the sky blue, which is the light one here. A turquoise, and then there was a ocean or something like that. And I just, yeah, coastal waters. And then I just used that to get the sky. And I love mixing my blues, even though, like, they're just so pretty. And then I just kind of do this uh, motion with my bigger brush. I like the way it looks. It looks so natural. So um, I'm going to try to get this sunflower really big. I was thinking about putting a few yellow dandelions in here too, so I'm not sure if I, depending on how I feel about it afterwards. For the little white parts, I'm using a stiffer brush too. I had to find brushes and cut them down, give them a stiff, more of a stiffness so then I can actually do something like a, almost like a dry brush pouncing and pulling out to get the dandelion look that I want. And that's what I'm doing. But I'm doing this and everyone left the room so I thought why not? What? I'm on live but what? You forgot to bring all the bowls. You do that today. Didn't you do that often already? already? So we have, have to go up and downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got your steps. Count your steps. Gotta love that. And I put a little bit too much there. You can see that. So I'm just gonna put my finger and dab. Dabbing some. So that's. I put a watercolor pencil. I drew a little sketch of where I thought I want it. And you might not be able to see it, but it's um, giving me a bit of a guideline. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it as big as I did. I did the watercolor pencil around this way, and I could just wet my fingers a bit and just wipe that away afterwards. But let's see how big I want to do it. And I also got to do a video later of the tags and doing the mixed media it's Nikki um, uh, 30 days and we are going to be going on to thir well today's day 13 so very exciting we're going to be going on day 14 the halfway point almost I always look forward to the halfway point sometimes because when you're busy and everything it's like I don't know why but life gets crazy as soon as Nikki and I seem to do a challenge, 30-day challenge. Um, it's like life gets totally crazy busy. It's really funny. And you can hear the kids. One of my daughters is just like, man, man, that's dishes or whatever it was. Uh, just get one of those that... She's a mom. A mom. I don't know if I want to get any bigger than that. I don't know if I'm... I'm not going to move it closer. You don't need to see the crayon line, but it's right here, the pencil crayon line. I might leave it just for a moment at this. I might be brave and go bigger. So right now, i got to start making a little bit of... And I'm just going in, pouncing um, my paint and taking some of it off. I'm not here. I don't know why I just came on, but I'm just sort of like, I'm, I'm just getting exhausted. I'm counting more time. I did do a little bit of an off-white. I keep trying it and it just does not look right. I did do a little bit of it in there. And then probably should put my light more that way. Dream canvas now, but then I get shade, so I should move my Oh there we go. Knocking my records are falling over now. Okay. I 
I guess people are wanting to have summer happen, so maybe that's why the dandelion request. It's okay, I like any ones, they, they, especially the, these seed pod ones. I didn't do anything fancy with the grass, I just started painting kind of painting it and then once I get closer to the where I put the blue I started going up I'm just doing the grass look I don't know I might add to it later I don't know I think my main goal here was just to do it with a blue background so give them some options I don't know I'll show you again the first painting I don't know if you guys some of you might have not been here. The first painting, just to give them a nice summery, glowy background. It's more whimsical. I got the paintbrush in my mouth. So that's the first painting. I want to give them a few options of what kind of backgrounds they want. So. <sighs> yeah. Tomorrow I got to work. Today was my kind of day off. What you call a day off, but I had to go work anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's start doing this side. Well, I could be doing more of these too, right there, but. I think I'll give it a break on this side. And then do more on that side. I gotta add more to my stem and stuff. Just patience and kind of stippling it on. I'm kind of wisping it out a bit. It's not a perfectly more abstract than anything for this because if I were to do this proper job of it probably would have to paint every little stroke of the brush. So it's for a paint night. They want to have fun. How many of you guys have you um, been to paint nights and what kind of stuff have you painted if you have? Is there fun or not kind of stuff? Let me know. It's kind of fun to get everyone's comments and if they tried it or not. I'm not sure if I have tried one being a going to one. Uh, I can't recall. Or being a participant. I'm not sure if I have. Um, at the moment, I can't recall. Gee, that's a funny thing, eh? Hmm. Because a lot of people have done these paint nights where they've gone to them. It's a funny thing for me to think that I you know, can't remember. Hmm. Anyway. After this, um weekend we're going to be really wanting some summer it really starts snowing like crazy here in alberta it was really nice supposed to snow all weekend it's supposed to come down lots tomorrow it's starting to come together isn't that cute how it just starts coming together i might keep this one kind of a saucery shape just a bit because I did that circle I don't know if you can see it almost a saucery shape make it look like it's leaning towards away from us a bit or something I like it a lot uh, I hope I'm not boring you guys Jeff but I thought well maybe somebody will enjoy this and come on and 
I don't, I don't know if anyone's on. I don't keep track anymore. So if someone is on, I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to go over anyone's parte. But I think we're... Yes. I just thought it was a good opportunity to have a little bit of something up here. I'm just kind of bristling it down, pouncing and pulling out a little bit. Don't want it like big strokes for these seed pod thingies. <coughs> Bless you. I don't know if anyone else is on. Oops, I guess this is. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm glad it's fun for you. I'm sorry I've been looking away. Yeah, it does make the sky realistic when you mix a whole bunch of blues. And the yellow one, I did um, all, a whole bunch of different yellow ones. I kind of mixed them all up. They're all reddish now. And it's the same thing and with red um, and stuff. And I'm going to have to keep trying to... I wish I could... This brush here is a... Hmm, let me see if I can find one. Another one here. It's a number five, but I cut them down for this particular reason. They're just, uh, what were they? What kind of bristles were they? They're from the dollar store, and I cut them down just so then they would be bristly. They were longer, um, and they were the roughest brushes I could find. Um, I didn't want anything soft for dandelions. I didn't want to put it in there and then bend. Uh, whose orange juice is it? You have to ask somebody. It could be dad. It's probably dad. Anyways. <laughs> and so I wanted something. That's why I cut this one down. I wanted something so I can do just like a little push off. Like, you know, and then. I, so I had to cut them down to give them like the brush cut. Do you know what I, you know what I mean? And, um. So yeah, I went to the dollar store and found them, and I wanted enough for everyone to do this because it was a, it takes a special brush, a little bit of a rough brush, to do this. He said yes, I'm all okay, good. To do this easily to make it, you know. So, so then I'm just kind of like brushing and pulling out a bit. You don't want long strokes for this at all. It's like a pounce and a it's a pounce and an up pounce up thing. And away from the center of the baby line. I might go bigger. Um I'm just leaving that one for a bit. <laughs> but it's so pretty. And even now after it's really dry there's nothing saying you can stick, can't stick a little bit of, you know, just a touch of like a stipple of yellow or something in there to make it look. It, if you go too crazy and mix it in, it'll go green. But if you can add a little bit of, you know, play with some small canvases. And um, to do the sky, just to let you know, I know and you probably didn't ask about that. But I just use a big brush like this. And this is a rounded brush. And it is is well, I don't know what number see if I can find another one it's the size it's a big brush about the size of my thumb rounded too so all I did was just go like you know just do the, the wrist motion of just mixing the colors sometimes I'll have this end of this corner one color of blue and this corner of the other color and just mixing it in and that's how I got that variation throughout so that works and and they don't, I don't need to do big strokes because that doesn't look so natural, but I just did like these little back and forth kind of folding over strokes. And that's how it turned out. And then wherever I wanted to lighten it up, I just did the same thing and add just a little bit more white to it. And that's how I did that. I love doing clouds too. Those are a fun challenge. Hmm. 
I love doing clouds. I'll have to show you guys a painting of one of my favorite paintings of the clouds I've done. And I did like, oh, it's just so fun. Anyways, I cannot remember how long ago I did it, but I do have a painting downstairs, so I'll have to pull it up one day. Really fun. Something I want to play with more and get more natural at where it's not a uh, hard effort. Oh, my pillow, my pillow fell. Um, I'm sitting on a kind of a old antique type of chair. I got a pillow behind me. I don't know how. To, anyways. Oh, thank you very much, Liz. I've been enjoying the tags. Nikki wanted to do the tags for a challenge. They're a great idea. They're very nice and small. And um, I'm just pulling off a little bit of paint because I'm not doing too much. And if I get too much, like I said, I dab my finger on it. But I, they are small, but you get the point across, I think, and on uh, the ideas. And some of them, like yesterday's, for today's, I guess, idea with the whole under the sea was really nice and fun. And in fact, that was the tag that probably took me the longest. It took me an hour or so, over an hour or two color that scene but I really wanted to just convey that message I guess I don't know what got to me but that you know the message of we're probably the most dangerous under the sea creature kind of thing well creature to the sea <laughs> and it just came to me and I just really wanted to do it sometimes you get really inspired for something so oh that's cool you donate your bookmarks to the library um I've done that too it's really nice it's fun I've uh sometimes when you buy these canvases in the big in bulk it's a um you get a few of them one or two of them ripped and um or even sometimes you can buy them and you know there's like five in a pack but the outside one's ripped and you can get a discount for the whole pack because of it then what i do is i take it right off and then i cut them into bookmark size and then i paint on them and then i give them to the library so they can you know sell them for five dollars for for donation like for money for to, to earn money for the library for the little things Things that they need. I used to do that for even before I started working there. And I just don't have time to do it all the time. <laughs> uh, is that one getting, that one's, maybe I can round it out with just a bit more up here. I have to um, find some pictures at some point or something of the ones I've done, but they were really fun. And that's a nice little miniature canvas kind of a thing in the book, and it looked like a little bookmark. And it was just, yeah, quite fun. Whoa! What are they throwing my brush around for? Crazy. Looking at the camera or looking at my phone. I'm looking at, I'm kind of off to the side of it, but I'm not sure if this is round enough. You have to let me know, Liz, if it's, if it's the right shape or if I should round it up a bit more. Because I'm right now thinking, hmm, might not be round enough. I'm going to put more darker or brighter highlights of That. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, I'll round it up a bit more, so I'll probably go up up more in this direction then. Okay, thank you. Sometimes it's really hard when we're crafting and we're filming because we're like in more of an awkward way than when we're actually doing it. 
in front of it kind of a thing because we're trying to get so everyone can see. I don't know. You guys don't want to see my big nose in the way or something, you know? <laughs> or bad enough my arms in the way. Usually you guys paint from the art video from the opposite way, but um that one might be too too bright over there. But it just wasn't the right angle for me today. See getting a little crazy here now. It was easiest for me to get like a little box and put the um, bone on the box on the coffee table kind of a thing than to record it that way. So that's the way I went with it. It's a little bit rounder now, I think. Whew. Gotta stretch my arms. Maybe this one can go up a bit more too. Not bad. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break on that. Okay. I think I'm going to go in. Oops. I have my coffee cups and my coffee's so cold now. I don't need coffee now. I think I'm going to go in and here a little bit with some darker green. So I got um, almost a, I don't know what kind of green that is right now if I'm not looking at the name, but a really dark green, a little brown. And then I'm just going to go in a little bit here. my dandelion part thing my thingy very scientific because I you know know my parts add a little bit more oops where am I getting this it's a little flyway in the in there. I think it's cute. Add a little bit more green. And that is that. I'm going to probably also do another coat on the on the uh, thing, I think that's gonna be last. Last. Um. Hmm. It's pretty nice. The other one I had a bit of a, a blue shading underneath because of the bright, bright sun that was above. I thought I'd shade them in a bit of blue. But with this one, I don't think I want to do that. Do I want to? That's something I have to. Maybe it's a little risque. I don't know. This is my very first Daniel Lane painting and my very second. So if the risky is, I'm not like, it's some, I don't think I've done Daniel Lane's before, at least not that I recall. So I'm not sure how it's going to look against the blue. I could do it. Hmm. But I think I might need more, more white in there anyways. I don't know. That's that at the moment. I've got to think. What do I want to do? <sighs> I don't know. That's a tough one. I think I'm going to... I'm going in with this bristly brush a bit here. I'm going to kind of throw in a little bit of wisp more wisp around here. I just wet my brush on top of this green and brown, wipe it away, and I'm putting more wisp in here just to add your inner 
see whatever this is. Stem area. I'm really not brave enough to put blue. It just doesn't, it, blue on blue just doesn't seem like it would work. So maybe if I just even just did a little bit of the green, I'm just going to do little circles here. Shadow it up with a bit of the green that's in here with the add water. That bit of that green that's just adding water on that little bit, bit of green there and dabbing it off. It might be a mistake. Okay. I don't know where the sun's coming from either. Don't really have a, a thing. Direction. Maybe a little yellow would have been nice. Could have done that. Did all my yellow dry up? Oops, hi. Watered down yellow. Might be too dandelion-ish, like you know the. Yeah, I don't think I like that. The green was better because it maybe has a reflection of the grass a bit. I don't like the yellow. Dip it in my water. It was a try, worth a try. I can even dab some of that green off anyway. It might have been too much green. Here's that watercolor crayon. Get that off anyway while I'm here. I use the watercolor because it won't wreck the paint like um, a pencil regular graphite pencil will. You'll go change the color of the paint. I'm liking the bit of the green, but not too much of the yellow. It's not that, that off or off, but a little shading of the green. The grass looks better. Anyway, I guess it's a matter of whoever's doing it. Two. I think I might have to work on more these things here. I don't know, of course I do have to make um, some floating. Those ones I haven't made perfectly yet. <laughs> They're not very good, but it's a learning process. I gotta be become professional by tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow night. I'm kind of getting a little bit of that green in there. Still, my brush might not be clean enough. Mm, well, it's looking cute. So, I could do another dandelion, but for now two, I don't know, usually you do three, but I also was contemplating doing the yellow dandelion in here, but I think that this is like probably enough for you paint out you got you don't want to go over too much an hour and this takes a bit of time these little spots okay is this one round enough or do I still need to go out a bit that's my question Liz if you're still here that 
that's my question. Okay, no, this is getting more sense. What a cup came from. Hmm. I think it could get a bit more round. I would think this would be a bit uh, dry. So I'm thinking of breaking water in it. It is abstract, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Is it balanced? How is it? I'm going to check what you guys say here. Okay, perfect. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. It's correct. Okay. Hmm? I am streaming. I can't mute it. What? What? <laughs> Tell me your idea. Okay, never mind then. Wait until later. Sorry. <laughs> it's not my computer. I can't mute it. Oh. Something about the library. Don't worry about it right now, baby. But I'm not scared. Write it down. <laughs> Why are you shy? Okay, so let's see. That's got soap. I'm going to grab my little bit of an angle brush here, which is got no number on because, oh wait, it says number six. Got that from the dollar store too, and I really like it. I'll show you the, these. They're so pretty. Some of them were got stray hairs, but they're nice for a paint night because this is not professional. This is just for fun. They're artists. It says artist series. Dollarama. That's uh, the way to go. Who can afford the expensive stuff? They're nice when people give them to you as gifts and stuff. Because I know Charity, my daughter, bought me some for um, a gift uh, for Christmas or something like that. And they're nice when you get them. But if you, okay, I'm going to go with this brown here. I don't have the names on me, guys, so if you really want to know. Oh, these ones I actually have up here. So these are the tubes I have. These are prime, premium. This one here is the burnt sienna. I'm going to stick some of that in on, on here. So I don't know where the sun's coming in, so I'm just going to go in. On this side, I guess. Stick some burnt sienna. Okay. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Did I get the guy here? Um, yes, I do. I think it's a good idea, but we can talk about that later. I think it's a great idea. You can bring it up because of the other boy can, does not doesn't necessarily need to run that particular cup. So you can run the, the Minecraft and then the other boy run the other things, right? I know a lot about Minecraft. Okay. Anyways. Here we go. There we go. Anyway, so I'm putting it kind of on this side, the um, burnt umber, I think is what I said. And I'm going to grab another brown, which I believe was, nope, that's not burnt umber. The one I just touched is burnt umber, the darker one. This one was burnt sienna. I lied. Sorry. I kind of got both of them on there right now. So I'm going on the darker side the inside. I like dandelions. Their stems kind of have that reddish color to them. I really like them. So I don't want to go too the dark. You notice that when you have that reddish brown kind of that burnt sienna or whatever it was called. But I'm going to go back with that. And this is all dry, so I always balance, I guess, uh, not such a wonky line. I always balance my pinky either this way on the canvas or my nail's short right now, so I can do it right on my, but my nail broke 
my ukulele nail, my nail broke. Uh, I usually have a little bit longer nails in this hand because I'm can then pick, but um, I'm gonna do a little bit brighter. Then you could just use it as I lean to get the better lines. I like it. Like it, not convey it. And I just, I'm not a professional. I've learned by doing it, just like you guys are doing it. Learn by doing it. Try some things. That's there. I don't know what else I want. Oh, yeah, I do want to put some little. Oh. Should probably spray my palette. It's getting wet. I mean, it's getting dry. <laughs> it's getting wet. Um, I want to do some little blow away pieces. Now I don't have the right right here around me. I don't have the right paintbrush for the little bare seed ends. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna tell them to do. I didn't have very many very teeny weeny. Um, I'm just gonna do. Um, detailed brushes, that's what, the word I'm looking for. I don't have very many of those. So I have to, usually when we do a paint night or something, we don't really have details. So, that's something. Probably with just a little edge of my... Did I go away? Did this go away? <laughs> it just said, oh, you're alive. I'm like, yeah, I am. I thought maybe, what, I forgot. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I know. I haven't been to the grocery store. Um, thank you very much for my saying my stem Um Anyways, I haven't been to a grocery store, but um, people are telling me it's crazy. Um, we just bought like TP before all this stuff happened. And we have like eight people in our family and I'm like, um, we buy a big pack usually a couple big packs or whatever and now I'm like really concerned like what are we gonna do when we do run out because <laughs> I mean we're not just the like eight pack family here with five girls and my husband and my grandson like I you know that's a lot of people to 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 have supplies for so I'm like oh boy but yeah apparently they're getting really crazy and lineups at the cash are really long too so I don't know I don't know so we'll see what happens there so I have the thinnest brush I have here is this one so I'm not sure um, oops, keep trying to drop my brushes. So I'm just gonna use some water. I'm gonna try to get this very fluidly, fluidly, a very good word, fluid, and do a little bit of the. That's so big. It's not dainty at all. That's pretty big. I should have thought about the um, these fine ones. 
Because, I mean, I hardly use them. I, uh, they um, always seem to get damaged on me because I'm a crazy person. Doesn't quite wash her paintbrushes right away. There's those. You probably didn't see that part. <laughs> they're so small, but they're actually big. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the burnt umber or whatever I think that is. Barely touch it. Barely touch it. My guinea pig are squeaky. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Squeaky, squeaky. Hmm. They're so cute. They're talking. They're not really squeaking for anything. They're just talking. You can tell they're talking to each other. I don't know what I want to do with this grass. I want to leave it. I just want to give people an idea of to do. They don't have to have it like crazy like the first painting. I just want to do a crazy summer feeling background, you know, in the pinks and yellows and golds and whatever are in the sky in the summertime. I just wanted to think about them again. So I had to paint them. Had to paint them. That is a crazy big one. Oh my goodness. I didn't get this. Well, if anyone can't see the thieves, there should be visible now. There we go. So, for now, I'm just going to spray my palette here. So, anyways, I didn't tell you guys about this. So, all right. What I'm hoping, this is my first tester on this. I'm just going to wet my, whatchamacallit, paper napkin. Throw it on there. Keep, preserve my palette a bit, I think, I'm hoping. And keep my paints from drying. And I'm only having like, you know, a few people. Um, so this one is one. But then I'm hoping that this will keep it wet enough so that I don't want to throw away what they have um, not used up. If they, you know, didn't use some of their palette and then we can just kind of with what what there's gonna be you know six people at this house thing we can use up their palettes the girls can craft with them and whatever so that's the palettes there so I'm gonna show you one do I have a bag the bags over where I'll, I'll go grab it I'm gonna show you what I bought these are from the dollar store as well oh, wiggle babies no oh, did they see me they saw me they saw me okay so these are the palettes but i they're like for beads or something and they don't come out the walls are solid in there so i thought they'd be perfect for palettes for a beginner painter i thought that'd be good enough and then they can just put their paints in here and then they can mix them up here or whatever, blend them, whatever, whatever they want to. And I thought, you know, they would close up enough and then to just make sure, stick paper towel in there. And I'm hoping that will work. So today's my first time using, I've used it before, but I closed it without a paper towel in it. And I had left it for a couple days or a week or so. And I had a white and a black and it did dry out in the gold um but I didn't put the paper napkin in there I didn't check on it or anything so it's not quite like a wet palette but I'm hoping just to keep it enough I don't want it to mold I don't need it to last that long because you can get it to kind of the paint might mold I don't know but I'm long enough for the girls to use it up if they're doing craft or Jackson my grandson to use it up if he's doing craft you know so we don't have to waste any paint I'm hoping this works so that yeah it's like a little bee container got them for $1.50 each so I thought that would work the ones that are solid in there thought that would work yeah 
let's see I'm at 50 minutes I'm not sure what I want to do down here but this is really open to playing around with I could do different leaves but I needed that green background if I want to add anything to it um, you can't have like the white space popping out or anything like that you kind of have to have your background down so I did that whole blue background all the way down to here and then um, I did the green kind of overlapping the blue so then it would look covered um, and then like I said I can do whatever here too I can add more dandelions or the yellow ones um, so or whatever but I'm just trying to give options of what they want so Thor you want to go outside you have to wait so I think that's that for this one don't know if I want to paint any more this one I'm going to show it again it just turned out crazy I don't even know what I was thinking this morning but some people like to have the crazy paintings right I thought it was fun. It was fun and I did it. I didn't have to do the grass like this. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just playing. But there's going to be a couple kids in the paint class too. So, I mean, they might find this something like this a little bit more fun. And and they might gives them the freedom to like, oh, I can, we could paint like that. And anyone. And gives them the freedom to see something like this and say, oh, we can paint like that. It doesn't have to be a set certain way so well, I kind of did it you know I just wanted to play and have fun with it and make it whimsical and still give them what they wanted so yeah Thor that's that one and uh, yeah I want to do I like to do um, paintings in different directions and different colors when I did my fish when I did a uh, Siamese fighting fish what are those ones called um I did the red fish and the blue fish. I mean, I did all different kinds of fish. Color purple, I think I did even. And I might have even mixed red and blue together. And did and I put them throughout the class. I did that class at the library. And then people kind of saw that they didn't have to have one color of fish. Um, so it gives them a, a freedom of option. They don't even have to ask. Like some people won't ask. They'll just do what the person's teaching them. So it kind of gives, it opens it up in my opinion so that's that yeah so and you know it doesn't have to be the best it has to be fun that's the you know to show them that it can be fun and easy and that kind of thing so hopefully they like it and I hope you guys like this I think I'll probably let you guys go then I'm probably rambling on anyways um, I still have no idea talk so much I need my water I have no idea um, what I'm gonna do down here but I'll play with it that's what I'm gonna do just play with it kind of thing and I might like, just leave it like that and you know and start a new one like I said I love to do several paintings in so many different ways and yeah just it opens up the doors opens up the doors so I hope you guys enjoy this you know I never see anything pop up every time I look yeah okay 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 I'm gonna come down back to the conversation maybe we'll chat a little bit here let's see have yes some things are shutting down hockey's shut off um, they're saying that we have an odor fest here like a comic-con type of thing odor fest in May and they're warning that they may they may um, postpone that. There's other things that they have postponed um, for the, um, oh, there's a hair on my phone. Um, uh, how do you say it? The coronola, corolla, how I can't say it even, the virus. So I don't know. They have shut down a lot of things. Um, but then also, too, I'm getting a lot of emails from different places saying, oh, we're still open and um, we've done so-and-so for cleaning, like the, the the theaters, which is really funny. The movie theaters are emailing people that they have the scene cards 
and they have people's emails, they're emailing saying that they've been doing this and this to keep the places clean and or whatever. Um, so, and in fact, I had seven people that were coming to my paint night and two of them canceled due to that. So, but the lady said, I won't uh, message me and like, I wouldn't blame you if you want to cancel. And, and I'm like, well, no, I don't want to cancel. I'm fine. Everything, you know, so it's a time to make everyone happy. We need these things. I'm really worried about, um, these businesses. Oh, can you see my light? I have my grow light on for my, my plants, my avocado and all these different plants here. I didn't realize how pink it is now that the sun's going down. Um, uh, yeah, it's, um, we need all these things too, to keep us going. Like we're locked up in, in the houses kind of a thing to just do nothing. We can't go in public. I mean, that's kind of depressing. Oh, so I'm, and at the same time, you want to protect yourself. You want to protect other people. It may not be us who get sick, but we might be a uh, bridge to somebody else getting sick if we we're around somebody who was. And I understand that, but I'm just hoping that this does blow over and um, kind of end soon. I do not know how bad it is. I haven't been keeping track. Of course, I'm hearing things, but I haven't been looking and searching for information um, right now because they really are making it sound super scary. And yeah, it's... Um, Yeah, it's scary. Hi, Linda. Thank you. This is my um, dandelions that I've been working on today. Because tomorrow I have a paint night. And I'm like, oh, i got to get these done so they can actually look at some things. I might have to do um, another one. Here's Linda. I'll just show you. The first one was very whimsical. I wanted to have the summery sky shining, sun shining. I wanted to have that. I miss this color. I can't wait to see summer and you get those beautiful colors in the clouds. That's when you get to see those beautiful, oh, you know, oh, the tomorrow's going to be a nice day because look at the clouds. That, that's what I miss so much. So I had to do that. And whimsical grass. So that's that first one and my second one. So that was fun. Super, super fun. Anyway. Yeah, you're going to stay off Facebook. Yeah, I haven't been on it too much myself. Um, it's been really busy for me, and I just don't have the time. But um, staying off the news and looking, the, you know, reading those scary titles, this is a good idea. <laughs> a very good idea. Um, but, yeah. I guess it's a good thing I have tons of puzzles and tons of books in the house in case we do have to stick around the home. Um, and all, of course, food and all that kind of stuff is just, luckily, we are very, you know, doing well in that area for having the pantry full and that, but it's kind of, it's really, it sucks. It really sucks. But... I have no idea. I have never experienced, I don't think I ever recall anything being so scary where people were this scared. So with this virus going around. So it's, um, I don't recall anything being so hyped up in the, in the news and, and things like that happening. I do love it too. Thank you very much. I really love it. The color that I use for that, pinky purple I love it it is this I can't say it properly Quindac I can't say it properly I hope you can read it Quinacridone violet I'm not saying it very well let's see if I can just pop I have my canvas just a bit out here and so but it is such a pretty color. Don't know if you will be able to see it. Oh, it is very pretty color. And I got, these are Deco Art Premiums, and I try to use them sparingly, and that's why I'm like, 
I, I have other ones too, like the craft paint that I'm using, like for the blue skies and stuff. I've been using, this is the true blue and I'm using the coastal waters. Like, so I'm using craft paint as well, but I have a few like this purple, like that is a gorgeous purple for mixing in with a little bit of white, mixing in a little bit of the, the yellow and the reds. It's just gorgeous. It just reminds me of that sky color. So I have a mixture and that's why, like I said, I want to do a palette where I can kind of bring home my paints afterwards and we can use them up here. So I'm going to do that test and I'll let you guys know how that worked out too because that will be my first time testing it out. So yeah guys, if you don't mind liking the video, I don't know if that does anything on streams. I know on regular videos liking it does add something on there saying that you guys are watching it or some kind of attraction to YouTube. I'm not, I don't know if it means anything. but. After all these years of me doing it, what, five, six years now? Does it make a difference? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let my brushes change these up, but I mean, wet them up. That is that. I think I'm going to let you guys go, unless we have anything else to say. Thanks again, friends, for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Linda. And uh, Liz, if you're still here, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go so I can kind of chill. I still have to make my other video of the um, tomorrow's video for the tags. So i got to take a few minute rest and do that. So thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.